I have never in my life seen anything as, well, horrific is a good word, as this big, wide, black animal coming straight towards me from less than 100 feet. Medjet Assist, this is Whitney. Yes, ma'am, we did get confirmation uh, that there is a bed for your husband in New York. Mr. Thanhauser is one of our members that loves to go on safaris. Um, he actually works for a museum, and what he does is collect specimens from around the world where he can recreate uh, specific habitats for these museums. Mr. Thanhauser was on safari, and he's actually looking for a specimen of, of a lioness, and in the process of that, they actually came face to face with a cake buffalo. The professional hunter and I had barely left camp when he pointed out a magnificent Cape buffalo and said, you know, I'm sure the museum will need this because you'll probably never see a larger one in your life. And when he shot it, it didn't take him down all the way. Um, so they tracked it into the woods and at that point the buffalo charged him. And the next thing I knew, uh, I had a buffalo playing the piano in my rib cage, but I have a prosthesis. I have a wooden leg, and he hooked the leg, and there it was, and it went flying, and he thought I was dead for sure. That's what do we have? Uh, Mr. Sandhauser, he's in... Uh, he was taken to a clinic in part of South Africa uh, where they treated him and basically were going to discharge him. He stayed in that trauma center for 10 days, during which time I was in constant contact with MedJet. I'll have the referring physician give you a call to give you a full medical report. We had our physicians at UPMC call that initial facility to get the medical report. And then we had them also follow up with the physicians at Mill Park Hospital where he was treated in Johannesburg. And they were in constant contact with the hospital, getting updated medical reports on his condition, what he would require for the flight, and knowing when he was going to be stable enough to be moved. And MedJet Assist arranged uh, through our affiliate in South Africa uh, for his transfer back to New York. We'll take care of all that. You don't need to worry about calling that hospital. We'll actually call them for you. I was so grateful because when you're dealing with another country and another culture, other doctors and so on, uh, it's very frightening. I was able to come out of incredible danger, thanks to Medjet, back to a normal life, to my wife, to my family, and to go back to doing the same silly things in the future that we've been able to do in the past and get away with, again, thanks to MedJet Assist.